Hey everyone, David is here again, and as I promised in the last episode, uh, today I will be discussing how you can create a full stack website uh, using uh, static web apps and data API build. Uh, the last time we built everything from scratch and we used the VS Code uh, and the live server extension to host the front end and of course uh, Dub to uh, host the back end. Today we'll be doing basically exactly the same with the help of Static Web Apps. And if you don't know what Static Web App is, it's a very nice service that also has a, a CLI that you can download and use offline so that you can create a full stack application by uh, shipping together the front end and the back end. And the Static Web App will take care of everything for you so you don't have to worry about cores and other complex configuration option. Even authentication and authorization will be uh, basically done for you uh, in the easy way possible and the beautiful part is that we integrated data api builder dub uh, with uh, with static web apps so you have a very nice end-to-end -end solution to ship a full stack application on azure so let's see the code so this is the dub configuration file i used the last time nothing has changed um, what i want to do first of all is make sure that i have node installed and I have not installed already, great, and that I have downloaded and installed the Static Web Apps CLI that allows me to work with Static Web Apps locally. And I have it already, as you can see. Perfect, now what I have to do is initialize SWA, so I basically have to do SWA DB in it, and this DB is a new feature that we added it in SWA CLI so that it can use Data API Builder behind the scene for you. So you don't have to switch between SWA CLI and Dub CLI, at least uh, to initialize everything. And why you want to initialize Data API Builder using SWA instead of Dub CLI? Just because uh, you will see that we create a dedicated folder called the SWA DB Connections. That's the name of the feature. Uh, that's what has in order to use Data API Builder. And in, in, uh, inside you have a configuration file that uh, looks very similar to the one we already have. The only difference is that uh, the REST path has been configured to answer the route REST instead of API. And of course, that authentication has been defined uh, to use uh, uh, static web apps instead of something else. Um, so what I want to do in order to move what I did uh, the last time uh, to use static web apps is just to take my old uh, existing dub configuration, take the entities uh, and basically copy and paste it here in this uh, uh, new configuration file that has been created for me. Uh, and then I can just remove the old one. That's nice. And uh, now the, the main point uh, of static web apps is that uh, static web apps acts as a reverse proxy. So it will create one entry point, localhost 4280, if you are running locally, that automatically connect uh, the front end to the back end. You remember the last time we discussed about the front end running on uh, some port, 5500, and the back end DAB running on uh, 5001. And for that reason, we had to use cores and configure stuff in order to make uh, the front end able to connect to the back end. Well, there is no need to do any more with SWA because uh, Data API Builder will answer to a specific route that has been internally configured in SWA called Data API. So what I have to do is change the HTML file here. And instead of trying to reach Data API Builder directly, I have to go to the Data API route that internally SWA will recognize and automatically direct to Data API Builder. And here I'm not using API anymore because the rest uh, route has been configured to be REST. So the only thing I have to change here is REST. That's it. That's really everything I needed to do. And the configuration file will be just exactly the same. So I have the my to-do table, uh, some mapping, uh, the permission, uh, and for now we will always be anonymous at the moment. Next uh, episode I will also show how you can use authentication and authorization in SWA connected with Data API Builder to handle uh, uh, the fact that you may have anonymous user and authenticated users. But so what I'm expecting to do is only to see items that are marked as public, like for example, uh, this one here, right? So this will be visible, this will be visible, but this will be not. Okay, so everything is done. The only thing I need to do right now is SWA start and, uh, and then I have to specify where is my uh, the front end. So here I plan to uh, have it run in a client folder. So let me actually create the client folder. 
client and let me move index.html inside here. Yes. So the, the front end will be taken from the client folder uh, and the uh, data API builder configuration will be taken from SWA DB connection. And that's it. So what is going to happen is that uh, SWA will, for us, run data API builder behind the scene and uh, it will also serve the HTML file, as you can see. And now we only have one entry point that we have to care about, uh, the 4280 that, we, that is what uh, static about, uh, generates for us. And, and here we go, it's running perfectly. That's very nice. So very easily, I didn't have to configure course, I didn't have to set up a, a live a HTML server or a static server using a live server, for example, with VS Code, it's, it's just running. So here I have my application and it's making the request to my database via Data API's, Data API Builder, as you can see here. Right, so let me just move this on the side uh, and let's uh, use this here. You will see that every time I run something, I get the request. That's perfect. So that's all to take whatever we have done and move it to use SWA super easy. And uh, make sure that you check out the description because I put a link uh, to Static Apps Database Connection, which is the integration of Data API, data, uh, API Builder and Static Apps. And, uh, and that's it. That's pretty much what you need to, uh, to know. Next episode, we will be adding authentication and authorization and see what happens. See you soon. Bye-bye.